Ace money to name, getting paid for the game. My goal is to help you get that money by sharing my picks, as well as some useful knowledge and betting techniques. Now, while we go over this recap, I'd like to get right into these picks so we can get in and out like a B&E with handicappers. So it's a SBR, Sportsbook Robbery. What's up, guys? Ace money here. Another good night. Knicks won. It's uh, 140 Wednesday night. Let me get into these picks. We've got the Cleveland-Boston 7 o'clock game. Jumping in with Derek White. First quarter, over 3.5 points. Minus 120 on DraftKings. Can't believe this number is still so low. Uh, he's got 8 last game, 15, 16 the game before. He's been on such a hot streak. He's playing almost at least 9 minutes in the first quarter. He succeeded three and a half points in four of the last five games. Uh, he's just, you know, I can't say any much more about him. He's just been a crazy offensive threat. Um, let me jump right into his next one. Uh, first quarter props, I always play half units. I also played his points. I got his points still at 17 and a half. I started playing it a little over a week ago. It was at like 11, 12. But uh, he's been going over this pretty easy. Been cashing him for like five days now. But you see his points went up. The line went up. His points went up anyway. Uh, they cruised to victory pretty easily last game. I expect it to be the same. But he should have this around halftime. If not by the third. So I'm playing him first quarter, half unit on three and a half points. And then full game, 17 and a half points, minus 108 draft kicks. All right, play number three. Sticking in the same game here. I got Tatum over two and a half first quarter rebounds, 135 draft kings. Played this last game as well. He's went over it. Head-to-head, uh, -head 71%. Last five, 60%. As you see, he's played 12 minutes the whole quarter of the last two games. He's averaging around nine minutes. Um, his full game rebounds is at eight and a half. He's probably going to go over it. He's been averaging 11. But uh, still, you know... I mean, Donovan Mitchell is a good player, but this is blowout potential. He might, he, you know, he might be limited third, fourth quarter. It depends. But uh, the ball just seems to find him. He's he's a good rebounder, and uh, he's been going over this. So I'm gonna continue to play it until it doesn't hit. Got Tatum over two and a half first quarter rebounds. All right, play number four. My last play for this game, I'm going Peyton Pritchard over two and a half rebounds, minus 115, FanDuel. Head-to-head, 100%. Last five, 60. 60% uh, for the whole year. He got five last game. We played this three the game before, you know, um, like I said, the blowout potential might not blow them out, blow them out, but they're going to have a comfortable lead, and uh, Pritchard will be playing more. Played 24 minutes last game. Uh, he's exceeded two and a half rebounds in seven of his last eight games at home, averaging four. You know, he's a little shorter guy who's scrappy, uh, just slips past the box out. And uh, gets the ball. He's got them magnetic hands. But, uh, yes, we're playing it again. Cast them again. So, Pritchard over two and a half. All right. For our next play, we're jumping into the 930 Dallas OKC. OKC's at home. Uh, it's another play we've been playing. We've been playing rock them to the wheels fall off. Uh, Kyrie on the five and a half first quarter points minus 106 on FanDuel. 
Last five. He's gone under this. He's gone under this. Three, four, five, six, two, four, six. The last seven games, he's gone under this. Uh, last 20 games, 70% of the games, he's gone under this. Head to head, 67%. He's. I'm just going to keep playing it until it doesn't cash. He plays almost the whole quarter, which is crazy. But what happens is Luca comes out. Gets a bunch of points, a bunch of shots, and uh, he might get some lobs in there to, to Gafford or something, but uh, Kyrie always starts off slow. So, I mean, yeah, he has those games where, I mean, he took one shot, one shot last game. But uh, I'm going to continue to play it until it doesn't work. So, we got Kyrie on the five and a half first quarter points. I also got to actually jump right into it. It's another play we've been playing. I got Kyrie on his steals over one and a half. It's actually plus 110 right now. Uh, FanDuel. And pretty close on DraftKings. Uh, both the same, 110 and 110. It's another play. He's been cashing like crazy. Uh, we played him the last three three times. He's cashed it. You know, sometimes you may want to give it a break, but it's playoffs, so this guy's scrappy. He's playing. Plays defense. Uh, usually gets a couple more. He's only got two, I'd say, but a couple of the steals he got, they tried to say they were blocks, but the dude wasn't shooting. But uh, either way, he's been going over it. And uh, I'm going to continue to play it until he don't. So we got Kyrie over one and a half steals. All right, before I get into the next one, if you could like the video, subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, turn the notifications on. I like to drop live plays. Um, do very well with them. The last couple of days, I got like 12 right, two wrong. Uh, you know, I just read the books, read the lines, see how the game's going, and I, I pick them apart. Sportsbook robbery. Uh, if you could, leave a comment. You can say anything. You can comment on the video about how I'm doing, about the plays, about your plays. You can write anything. Um, I would prefer feedback, but it doesn't really matter. It helps get the video shared, gets it out there. Help me try to build up these subscribers. And, uh, yeah, so I'll get right into the next play. Appreciate you. Daniel Gafford, points over 10.5, uh, minus 110, Drift Kings. Just make sure you line shop. Got it, uh, you know, for all the plays, all different books, got them at different lines. Uh, last couple games in the playoffs, he's. Turned it way up. He's playing real assertive. Had 16 last game. 13 the game before. Numbers at 10. I think it was at 8 a couple days ago. Bumped up a little bit. Head-to-head. Uh, -head. He's been killing them. 16, 19, 19. Uh, Gavin's a starter. So, uh... You know, he's playing plenty of minutes. Um, he's pretty good at rebounding, too. Shooting, he's, field, he's shooting 63% uh, from the field, 70% from the line, free throws. Stays out of foul trouble. And uh, like I was saying, he's good at rebounding. I normally wait till I bet his rebounds. He'll drop it down to like four and a half. If uh, we're lucky and I take it, he's usually around six he's getting. Um, so I wait for that. Uh, you could play points and rebounds, but the guy got like 18. And truthfully, he's getting around six rebounds. So I feel like 18 is too high unless he, you know, I mean, with his points, yeah, he, he's probably going to go over it. But still, why? 
If you can just get 11 points, 12 points, and, and cash the bet, why don't wait for the rebounds? If you think he's not going to score 10 points, I wouldn't even take the bet. But uh, I'll play his rebounds separately later, like I said. Just look out for the comments. If it goes down like four and a half, I'm playing it. Been cashing it. All right, get on to the next one. That's Gafford, 10 and a half. Minus 110, DraftKings. All right, for this last play, uh, playing Derek Lively. Over five and a half uh, points, 128 on DraftKings. FanDuel, sorry. FanDuel, it's right in front of my face. I didn't have to look at my paper. But, uh, yeah, he didn't catch the last game. He was off a little bit, as you see. He had two points. He didn't play that long, 13 minutes. He was benched. Uh, he's basically Gafford's backup. He has exceeded five and a half points in uh, five of six games. The number actually was at seven and a half. They just lowered it. That's why I took it. I probably wouldn't have took it at seven, seven and a half. It's not that I don't think you'd go over it, but just five and a half is, you know, it's three baskets. But uh, you see what he's been averaging, 10. Besides the game, he didn't go over it. He had 10, 12, 8, 13, 7. That's 5, 80%. Uh, yeah, he cost me a little bit of money the other day. One unit, so I'm getting that unit back. I got lively over 5.5 points. Uh, he does a lot of Luca throw him a couple of lobs and get some dunks. Uh, he's a decent free throw shooter. You know, he's uh, averaging how many field goals? 70% from the field. You know, he just didn't hit him last game. He took his three shots. He didn't make them. But uh, he had no free throws. So he wasn't being aggressive. He didn't play that long. So hopefully he'll bounce back. If not, you know, we'll chalk it up as a hell. But I doubt it. Five and a half points. It's out there. It's the playoffs. But, uh, yeah, so the last couple of days we've been doing pretty well. Uh, ended up today we were 6-4. and four. One of those four was a, was a first quarter prop, so it was a little half unit. Uh, plays we would have cashed anyway. Brunson got hurt, so they took him out the first quarter. He probably would have went over that rebound. He already had one. But, you know, an L's an L. Uh, the other guy, um, McConnell or whatever his name is, he, uh, we hooked him. Yeah, McConnell. We hooked him. He didn't play the whole fourth quarter. He was real good. He was locking down Brunson. They should have put him in. Knicks peeled off. If he was in there, it would have been definitely harder. Hal Burns not good on D. But, uh, yeah, he, we needed a half point with him and. They would have just put him in. He probably would have got it. He had mad assists, like, excuse me, like eight or nine. But, uh, yeah, so we'll see what happens. But the last two days, nice. We're like 15, 15 and, uh, and six. So, yeah, it's been a good week. We're doing all right. All right, Ace Money, the name, getting paid for the game. Like, subscribe, comment. Notifications are on catch them live bets. I'm killing it. I'm very transparent. All these, all my bets, all the bets I give you are the bets I place, including the live bets. You can see, you can see my stats, my papers, my names. Let's get <laughs>